Boy, Rube, uh, this is a difficult scene to witness. You, we are seeing uh, students assembling out in the parking lot uh, as they were told to do to come over here to find a safe place to reunite with their parents. Uh, it's really mayhem out on Lapeer Road. So when you get to coming up to Oxford High School, which is, by the way, the school is sort of a stone's throw uh, that way, east of where I am, sort of behind the Myers where the school is and the street that I'm standing along right here is a street that will take you to Oxford High School. So what you've got is really uh, frantic parents who were told to come up to Meyer to meet up with their kids. I interviewed a young lady named Savannah, a 17-year-old student. She was sitting in class at Oxford High School. Her boyfriend said something is wrong. She heard gunfire. They were told to hide in their room. They have gone through mass shooter training here at Oxford High School. And I guess today that training perhaps paid off. Uh, they hid, they knew what to do, and then they knew how to get out safely when police told them they could do so. Um, the wind has picked up. It is a frigid, difficult day uh, on many levels here as students stand outside and, and wait for their parents. And as we wait to get answers as to exactly what happened today at Oxford High School. Yeah, Dina, the, the cold isn't the only thing to take your breath away. When you're at the scene of that mire, I know you're a mom yourself of three kids that you love. So many moms and dads want to wrap their, their hands and their arms around these sons and daughters coming to meet them right there. That is a, a, an emotional scene and a difficult one to watch. Uh, Roop, I will tell you, we know that mass shootings happen every day in this country, and we know that there are there have been a couple of dozen school shootings in our country just this year alone. Uh, today, it hit close to home, and it is difficult on this Tuesday after Thanksgiving to be standing at a scene uh, close to a high school where you know I know students there, I know teachers there, and uh, I know the parents who are directly affected by this. So. It is a difficult day. Dina, every community in Metro Detroit is tight knit, but there's something about that northern Oakland County. Uh, it's, it's a village feel. It, it really is like a village to raise the kids and everybody knows everybody. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a tight knit community in that area, wouldn't you say? Well, and just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting text messages from people. News of a school shooting uh, travels quite quickly and uh, you've got kids on social media which can be a good thing and can be a, a, a bad thing if the information is inaccurate. But you've got kids uh, texting friends uh, all over the country, and then you start getting text messages from people saying, um, you know, what happened and wanting to know exactly, is, any, is everybody okay? That is the question. Is everybody okay? And then, of course, Ruth, the question is, how does this continue to happen? And what can we do to prevent this in the future? But as of right now, the goal is to reunite. There's a long line of cars in front of the mire. And you can see Jeff is getting a shot of the helicopters. The, the presence of law enforcement, of medical personnel uh, is uh, substantial. I mean, this uh, driving up here, so to get to Oxford High School, you basically take 75 to Lapeer Road. And driving up here, I had to pull over countless times to let all the emergency vehicles get around me. It's not an easy destination to get to, uh, whether you're a parent or whether you're uh, an emergency vehicle, because there's kind of only one way to get here. Uh, so that probably created a few challenges logistically as well. But if you can see, uh, Jeff, I don't know if you can get a shot of all those cars. Um, there's a long line of cars, and they're is heavy police presence who uh, they're saying uh, when you pull up to the mire here in Oxford they say are you a parent picking up a student that's their first question and those are the people who are being prioritized here this afternoon um, to make sure that everyone gets home safely those who can get home safely yeah and and right at this point every parent and every grandparent every aunt and uncle every family friend that's pulling up uh, they want to see the face that they want to see which is the loved one that they love so much and that's that's the suspense and the awful part of having to wait in that line yeah and it's just you just you know no matter no matter how many times we report these stories you do not ever think that you're going to say goodbye to your child in the morning and send them off to high school and you never think that this is how the day is going to end 
Uh, yeah. So that is a difficult thing to wrap your brain around, even though we know that the reality is, is that this happens. No, and it does. And Dean, I was talking to Jessica Dupnek a few minutes ago, and we were talking about the drills, and your kids have gone through them. Anyone who uh, has been to high school after 1998 has been through these unfortunate drills. And, and that drill, those drills have changed over the years uh, to become more boisterous, more loud, to disrupt an active shooter situation. But you hope that that training kind of takes at that moment when it's needed most. Well, and I, when I talked to the young lady who, again, she was sitting in her classroom, and then she ultimately heard the gunshots. She heard gunfire, and they took this very seriously, and she said they felt like they did know what to do in that instance. They had a closet. They knew to barricade the door. Uh, it, depending on the situation, there are, different, there are different ways to handle a mass shooter and kids are trained that and even we adults are trained that in some workplaces we get a little bit of training um, uh, but the important thing is is to figure out how to stay safe and how to evacuate the building safely and that was the goal now we're starting to see um, more cars on this road again this is the road behind me that will take you right to Oxford High School so as I'm watching things have sort of calm down a little bit. We don't hear for a while there. It was just sirens one after another. And it seems like things have calmed down a little bit. And now uh, we work on getting everybody out of this area and finding some answers. Dina, stay with us here for a minute. I want to ask you a question about the scope in terms of the school. Uh, how big of a school that is? You know, how many students approximately go there? Is it a larger Northern Oakland County school or a smaller one? But if you're just joining us, Dina Santafanti with us live right outside of uh, this Meyer parking lot, which is a staging area for moms and dads to pick up their sons and daughters after an active shooter situation inside of Oxford High School that happened about one o'clock this afternoon, just a few minutes beforehand. Uh, right now, four to five people were hurt inside. No word on if they're students or how bad those injuries are. Uh, but we do see two, at least two medevac helicopters that were on the scene about 30 minutes ago uh, after evaluating the scene inside. And so, uh, Dina, in terms of the scope, it looks like a pretty large high school. I've only had the chance to cover a story there probably once, and that was a long time ago. Uh, give us an idea. I mean, are we talking about uh, a pretty large school there? Yeah, yeah. Um, hundreds and hundreds of students at Oxford High. It is a big school. Um, it's a school that is uh, very proud of many of their sports teams and it sits in a in a beautiful little section of Oxford surrounded uh, by the trees and and sort sort of a rural atmosphere um, and uh, I'm just watching everything. roof and trying to yeah. I, I I'm trying to figure out what's going on here as I uh, stand and watch the We've got, we've got the presence here from many different uh, counties and cities and townships who are filling this parking lot here at Meyer um, as the goal is to uh, try and, and organize these parents and help these parents uh, connect with their loved ones and at the same time keep uh, traffic moving and clear things out, move expeditiously. Dina, is that a second um, wave of law enforcement that you see in there, or is it just, is that kind of the scene uh, just since you've been there? Is it just a constant buzz and flow, or are you seeing more ambulances now arrive to the scene? Well, it, it, um, it seems like there's more activity now in the front. So again, just to set the stage for everybody, I'm standing at the, on the north side. Meyer is over here to my left, and behind me is Oxford High School. And then um, to my right is really just an open field. So, um, and many of these roads are blocked off. When you drive up Lapeer Road, uh, it's hard to get into the Meyer parking lot. They're saving that for parents. And so, uh, there is a, uh, there are a lot of police cars in that parking lot and probably just a lot of precautions being taken at this point. You know, Roof, when something like this happens, and again, logistically, uh, Oxford, there's, you know, you kind of just have to come up with your road to get here. So um, it's, it, it's a difficult place to get to if you're trying to rush and get here in a hurry. Uh, so... Um, logistically, that was challenging. Hold on, we're getting some. Uh, we gotta go. 
we got to go. Okay. You got to um, go. Law enforcement is asking us yep. to uh, leave this position, so I'm going to do that. Yep. And Dina, thank um, you for that. We'll and check in with you when we get more information. If you hear anything, you know, call on the phone or line, and we'll take you on the phone before you can establish live again when you have to move there. But Dina Santavanti for us live. Thank you for that live report. She'll be here. We'll all be here throughout this uh, terribly sad day here in Oakland County, where we understand that now uh, four to five people have been hurt inside of Oxford High School. Uh, I want to also.